I know I've already done a video on this, but I wanted to show you again the no fuss method of powdering the kitty's eyes. We've got our powder, we've got our kitty. I'm doing a voiceover here because the washing machine was off in the background running. So we've got Sequoia. We've been doing her eyes on an almost daily basis. She's not one of the worst kitties for it, but she does have some tearing. So we're going to lick our finger, dip it in our powder. We might want to wipe her eyes down first, but uh, with the no fuss method, we just want to get the powder on there. Just do it. Do it to it, otherwise we just might not get it done. So we're going to just dab a tiny little bit underneath her eye. And then with my powder-free finger, I'm going to work it in. Work it in good. Use your fingernail. Scrub it in there a little bit. Dab a little bit more. The reason I do this is because uh, often the powder um, flips into their eyes if you do it first with the powdered finger. And they'll flinch a little bit. So this sort of helps that. So we dab a little bit with the powder finger and then work it in with the powder-free finger. Some kitties need it every day, some kitties every few days. Sequoia's eyes have looked a lot better since I've started this routine. Now you could, here we go again with the wetting of the finger. Not quite sanitary, uh, I know. You could use a little wet cloth to put your finger on or I mean, you can get as detailed as you want. You could get some fancy tools out and all that kind of thing, which is what I used to do, and then I never got their eyes cleaned. So here we are. We're just getting them cleaned. No fuss method here. And this powder is the boric acid and a moxie mix. You can make your own, or you can buy similar on the market. If you go to my website, eye maintenance link will... I'll tell you how to make your own or where you can buy some. And this is how I apply it. For the kitties that are not quite as easy to work with, you back them up between your legs like this. And most of my kitties handle this pretty well. I do it on both the white faced kitties and the golden faced kitties in on Sequoia. Then there's kitties like Gypsy Rose who doesn't ever need her eyes cleaned. They're just always spotless. Simicon's eyes are also pretty easy care. There she goes. What a good girl. This is Sirocco. Now Sirocco's eyes are actually kind of high maintenance where they used to be. And they drain quite a bit to the point where it would get um, clogged up down there and stick to her fur and then eventually you get in there with your fingernails to clean it out and end up ripping some of the fur out and then she'd have little sore spaces. I mean it's really not ideal. I've been uh, treating her eyes every morning with the uh, powder and her eyes have just been staying so nice. I did her eyes this morning actually. I'm going to do them again here sort of as a demo. But they stay nice and clean and they don't get, if I do it on a daily basis, we don't get to that point where you're digging out, you're mining out this gunk. She's been doing very well. Now we've got some example of a couple of kitties that have benefited from, especially Tiny Bear. Here's first is Kalahari. He has very uh, almost carefree eyes, but he does get that black gunk the kind that, you know, goops up a little bit on the outer corners and a little bit on the inner corners. And I only need to clean his eyes once or twice a week. It's just not that big of a deal. And now they stay really nice looking. In Tiny Bear, we do her every day. She could possibly be done even twice a day. Okay, let's get the camera back up on her hair if we can. There you go. And uh, she just looks so much better. I'm just really pleased. She's very easy to work with because I just have the little pot next to the bed and she comes and cuddles on my lap. And so I do her eyes while, while we're cuddling in the morning and I do it every morning with the no fuss method of just dabbing 
a little bit of moisture on my finger and getting that powder up there in her eyes. You can see that her eye, her right eye there is tearing again a little bit. By the end of the day, I might actually see some tearing and I might give her a touch up or just do it every day. At least it doesn't get stained, it doesn't get rusty. And she keeps her eyes looking very nice. I'm very pleased with the way this was working out. I've been doing this now for oh maybe almost a year on Tiny Bear. I'm very encouraged. Uh, at first I didn't think this powder stuff was working because I made too much of a big deal out of it. 